dust. Uh, the shamisen, especially the tenshin, has a lot of angles and sharp corners where dust collects and it's not so easy to clean out. It's entirely harmless, but if you're neurotic about that sort of thing, definitely uh, keep your shamisen covered. I highly recommend wrapping it in a nagapukuro. This long cloth sack keeps dust and cookie crumbs off of the shamisen. And this is how to use it. Find the end of the nagapukuro that's sewn on both sides which forms a pocket. Slide the dough into that pocket and take the other end and put it around the tenji. Then turn the two sides 90 degrees so that when it's open you can see the tenji. Or so when the cloth drapes over the tenji, as my friend Grant says, it looks like a Sith Lord. Then fold the two sides over themselves like so. Then take the cord and wrap it around the sole, starting at the base, and wrap it until, you know, around the area where the sole and tenji uh, come together. And then put the end of the cord like so, so it stays in place. Now you can wrap and tie it loosely or keep it tight. Either way is just fine. Uh, personally, I like to keep it tight so you can see all the curves, but uh, it doesn't really matter either way. And that's how you do it. Alternatively, you can put it in a large plastic bag uh, or wrap it in a towel, a bed sheet, or put it in a case. And if you don't mind a little dust, uh, you don't have to worry about it altogether. And that's about it. Kyle Abbott.